Hey guys, it's Jason over at Kaiser Willys, and today we're going to be running our choke and throttle cable through the dash and then hooking it up to our carburetor. So as you can see here, we've got our throttle and our choke installed. We ran the cables through the dash, so let me see if I can get you over here. All right, so as you can see, you've got your choke here, throttle here. Uh, basically, there's a slot that goes here. You run it through the dash and then you'll pull it out through the firewall. Now these cables here, they're a little bit long. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to trim them down. So I'll show you what that looks like and where they hook up on the carburetor. So I'll be right back. All right. So now we're back over here on the engine side. Uh, you can see the cable is coming through the firewall. You've got two cables here. You've got your choke cable and then you've got your throttle cable. So as you can see, these cables, they're long, they're by design long, because then you're gonna trim it to what you need. Uh, you have your choke and your throttle on your carburetor, which is where this is gonna go. There is going to be two clamps on this particular carburetor that are basically bolted around the same spot on the carburetor. So you can see one's in place, we've removed the other one. Uh, so what we'll do is, is now we're gonna go ahead and make our cuts and get this at the right length, and then we'll start attaching it to the carburetor. We'll be right back with you. Okay, now we've got our choke cable, which is in place, it's in the loop. So it's in the clamp and then we've got it uh, bolted down. What we did was basically we ran the cable, uh, the inner cable out of it, and then we cut it off where it needed to be at the clamp. And then we put the inner cable back through and then through the um, wire stop. Now we'll trim off the excess of the inner cable We've got it all adjusted so that when we pull it, we've got it all the way set to where we need it. And when we push it, we've got it set all the way where we need it. So now there's another clamp that's gonna go below this clamp. And we'll go ahead and do the same process with the throttle cable and then get this in place. The throttle goes to the bottom, which there's another wire stop. So we'll show you that here in just a second. All right, so now we've got our cables trimmed. We've got them in place where they go. So I'll go ahead and I'll show you what this looks like when we go to pull the knobs on the dash. So this is going to be our choke. So if I pull the choke, you can see that the choke starts to move. I'll go ahead and push it back in. And then we go to pull the throttle, which is more or less a cruise control. So when you pull that, you'll see the throttle start to move. So essentially that's it, choke throttle. We'll show you how that functions when we actually go ahead to start the vehicle and get things running. Uh, one thing to note, you might want to put a little bit of grease down into the uh, inner cable so that it gets that so that you can kind of pull it in and out a little bit better. But that's running your choke and throttle cables through the dash. And we've got these in olive drab and black. So I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.